Hey everybody, it's Sam and Blaine. Welcome back. This is the real fun one. This is the one where we go through the top 10 metal picks of 2022 as voted by you, the <laughs> viewers. Right, so we put up a YouTube video asking you for votes. We got like, uh, like uh, over a thousand comments uh, that I diligently went through uh, and we found your top 10. So uh, this will be in two parts because uh, that's a lot of records. 10 mm -hmm. records is a lot. So today we're doing 10 to six. Next time it'll be five to one. And yeah, I'm, I, I'm very impressed with y'all. Some of you have been, been doing your homework, been doing some digging. So yeah. without further ado, let's, let's just get into this video. Let's do it. Let's do this. Your number 10 pick for album of the year was Fit for an Autopsy, Oh What the Future Holds. Uh, it came out January 14th, so you went back in the noggin to remember this one on Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, so uh, Fit for an Autopsy are a New Jersey-based deathcore band. This is their sixth album, and of course they're a New Jersey-based deathcore band, so that's all I know about them. Let's just have them play their music, so take it away. <laughs> was uh, honestly a surprise for me on the list because uh, well it's a really well done record uh, it's kind of just a deathcore record there's no surprises on the record like I heard half of one song and I was like I bet I know how this whole album shakes out and then I listened and I was like yep I'm right uh, it's Christmas though so let's try and compliment deathcore shall we um, what I will say about this record uh, is it sounds like uh, whoever mixed and mastered which I actually think was a member of the band um, uh, had actually uh, heard what a drum sounds like before um, and wasn't like a test tube baby uh, raised in a soundless box with extensive physical knowledge about what drums sound like but without the actual experience of hearing a drum. A little uh, metaphysics intro to class joke for you there. Uh, and that allowed me to listen to the drums, uh, which uh, are absolutely fantastic. The rhythm on this record is great. I clung to it like a door floating on the ocean to get through a deathcore record. Uh, it got me through, um, but at the end of the day, uh, it's not a malevolence record, um, uh, so I had the issues that I have with most metalcore records in that when metalcore is heavy, when deathcore is heavy, it's too heavy and when it's soft it's too soft and it never really strikes a balance in between. Uh, it does sound like an absolute shining example of what the genre should be. If that is your thing, uh, it's absolutely perfectly nailed. If that's not your thing, uh, it's not doing anything to change your mind. So I'm going to give it uh, three out of five. Very standard, just regular overkill review skulls from the textbook. You could set your watch to them. All right, so coming in at number nine, maybe slightly controversial, but maybe not because it's coming in at number nine and not higher than nine is the new album from Powerhouse Ghost called Impera, released back on March 11th on Loma Vista Recordings Ghost. Okay, well, we could probably fill an hour or more to talk about Ghost for many, many, many different uh, reasons. Obviously, hailing from Sweden, uh, there are many records in Ghost are one of the sort of, again, powerhouse metal slash rock bands on the planet today. This keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and, and, and bigger. I like this record. I like this Ghost record. Wasn't really a huge fan of their earlier recordings, but for me, I guess they're like the metal journey. And, you know, if you're my age, I won't go on. Uh, I think this is a pretty solid record, actually. This is in a very different lane than most slash almost all of what I listen to. I don't listen to any other band like this. But I found the songwriting on this album to be pretty incredible. I think the production is 
really, really incredible. You put on a set of cans and there's lots of stuff going on. There's a lot of thought and detail that's gone into this record. So if you like your big anthemic rock slash metal, if you want the metal version of Journey, this is a good record. I'm gonna give it four out of five skulls. Well, any way you want it. That's the rest of, yeah. Yeah, 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 we know. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> number eight. <laughs> All right, we're gonna giggle ourselves out and we're only at record number eight. And record number eight is Artificial Brain with the Artificial Brain released on June 3rd, 2022 on Canadian label Profound Lore. And here we go. Now this is a little different than what we've got so far. Getting a little more underground. Uh, prog tech death from long island uh yeah so if you were like look at these big records where do we have? here you go this record got me a little twisted i'm not quite sure how to feel. I've never uh, made it not clear that I'm not a fan of the brutal death, absolutely low guttural pig squeal action. And that's the vocals on this record uh, through and through all the way through. Uh, but they have done something interesting with them and they've almost given them the black metal treatment and it's absolutely below every single other thing on the album. It's almost like they hate guttural lows too. And they're like, let's make it so you can't hear these as much. Uh, so it goes a long way to having the record be more palatable to me. And unlike Brutal Death Metal, where everything in addition to the vocals is tuned down to the absolute sub basement where the band and their fans live, <laughs> uh, the rest of the record uh, has moments that are frequently much higher. And again, it, it, it takes the rough bluntness off the general that I can't do. Uh, at the end of the day, it still feels like I'm taking medicine, but they have done a lot to make the medicine go down smoother. So, you know what? I'm gonna give this three and a half out of five skulls that are on the label of the banana penicillin, because that feels like what I've got here. Thus, we move on to number seven, and this guy pretty much just lives in album of the year lists at this point. It's Zeal and Ardor with Zeal and Ardor. A lot of self-titles this week. Uh, released February 11th on MVKA. If you don't know the origin story of Zeal and Ardor, it's probably one of the most interesting origin stories in the history of metal. Uh, uh, Manuel Gagnon, who's a musician, posted on 4chan, hey, what's two genres to mix? Because he was just looking for something new, and in true 4chan fashion, someone responded black metal and someone else responded with a racial slur. Um, to which he took that as an honest suggestion and combined black metal and like neo soul and became an absolute cultural phenomenon and one of the most interesting things going on in metal. So let's have a listen. The snakes of the west, death to the holy. Zeal and Ardor rule. Uh, I'm not a fan of uh, a, a good portion of the stuff Zeal and Ardor has made, but I absolutely love that it exists. I think it's such a cool, unique thing, and only Zeal and Ardor makes Zeal and Ardor. There's no one even coming close to doing this. Uh, it, it's the kind of creativity that birthed basically every metal subgenre, if not metal as a whole, and should absolutely be encouraged and celebrated. Uh, and when it clicks, I am so on board. And this record really feels like Zeal and Ardor figuring out what exactly Zeal and Ardor is and should be. And uh, uh, oh my God, just bow into, or bow into, feed the machine into I Caught You, into Church Burns is absolute perfection. I could listen to that on repeat till the end of time. I absolutely feel it in my bones. I have to move. It is so, so, so fantastic. Uh, Zeal and Ardor, amazing. Love that Zeal and Ardor exists. Love when Zealander makes the absolute perfect music I want to hear for a moment and it does this all over this record. So very easy, uh, very easy, awesome. Oh man, I just want, I, uh, my dream would be to just like have Zeal and Ardor 
compose the uh, soundtrack to True Detective Season 1. But of course, that would require a time machine and stuff. So that's not going to happen. So I'm just giving this record four and a half out of five flat circle skulls. All right. So closing out this half of the best albums of 2022, as voted by you, the viewers of Banger TV, is, of course, number six. And it's half all that was promised. There you go, half all that was promised released on September 9th, not that long ago, still pretty fresh via Willow Tip Records. And so, yeah, for those of you who have seen the earlier video, uh, you know this is my favorite album of 2022. Uh, what do I know about this band? Not a ton. They're from Jersey, which is kind of oddly refreshing because I feel like we haven't had a good death metal band out of Jersey for a while, as odd as that sounds. Uh, but um, yeah, I love this record. I love the progressive elements uh, on this record. As I said last time in our other video, I think the vocal performance is absolutely fantastic. I love the sound of the instruments, particularly the drums. I get pretty fussy about drum sound. Uh, you know, you know, it's gotta be heavy and fast, but not too mechanic. It, it hits the, the sweet spot for me. And it's got that really kind of expansive, like linear uh, thing where you kind of, every song just kind of goes from one thing to the next and rarely does it kind of cycle back on an earlier part. Admittedly, sometimes I'm like, oh, can't you go back to like the second riff again? Because that one really kicked my ass. But I like that element of this record. It's almost more like classically composed music in that sense. It's kind of always moving forward. Not very riff based, as I said before, you know, um, it's big, it's open, it's kind of, it's got that sweeping quality and yeah, just, I don't know, refreshing in a weird way. You know, death metal can get a little orthodox sometimes and even progressive now in a weird way because there's so much of it can kind of get orthodox and it's sort of widdly widdly in a million different parts and the production sounds all the same. So, Hit the sweet spot in so many ways for me. Uh, uh, can't wait for the next half record already. Great job, uh, guys. Totally took me by surprise. Blew my ears off. I listened to this record a ton uh, this year. It's a solid four and a half out of five. So that was the first half of the video. Big thanks again to our Patreon supporters. As always, y'all make it so we can keep making these videos, keep the lights on and the studio lights. Uh, and, you know, just a big thanks to you and to all the viewers. Thanks for so many votes. Uh, we've got a second half coming up. And, again, the... Some cool, interesting stuff that I did not I did not see a lot of this coming, so I'm excited. So I hope you'll join us next time. Yes, yeah, very exciting. It's uh Banger TV crowd is smart. There's some smart metal coming in the top five. We'll see you over on that side. Mm -hmm.